Hello there and welcome back to our Python project for beginners. My name is Fumilayo from Bet Media and today we will be doing something exciting. We will be translating to different languages in Python. We'll be making use of this library, which is a powerful command line translator with Google Translate behind it. And also we'll be making use of languages short code because this is the code we'll be using to translate our languages. This is going to be exciting. Let's begin. We will be using our Jupyter Notebook. The first thing that we have to do is to install our translate library. So pip install translate. And we already have it installed already. So we might need to restart the kernel. So let's do that. And now we'll have to import our library. So from translate, we'd like to import translator. So what I would like to do is to have like an input that takes in the translate text at our word or phrases, and then the user then selects the or writes in the language that it would want to translate that text to, and then we get the results below. So those are the three things. We take the word, we insert the language we want to translate our word or phrase to, and then we get our results. So first, let's write our function to translate the the text or phrases, depending on what you want. So this is our function, translate text. We have our text and then our target language. So we have our translator and we're translating, we'll put in the target language that we want to translate it to. And then the library that we imported, translator, dot our translate text. So now let's run a loop. We want this loop to continuously run while we are translating our text. So while our loop still stands, while it is true, what do I want? I want the user to input to input their word or phrase. So let's have enter a word of phrase to translate. And then I don't want it to like just run continuously. I want the user to be able to like stop it anytime they want to stop it. So I'll queue to quit. So when the user enters queue, the while loop will stop running. Let's put that. So if user input dot lower is equal to Q, then I want like everything to stop. So that is like kind of like our stop button by entering Q. And then the other thing, you know, I said now we've taken the word or the phrase that we want to translate. The next thing is now to what language do we want to translate it to? So then we have our target language that we're using in our function above language. I also want the user to be able to input the language that they want. Let me copy this so I can be first. So input a word, inputs the target language. Language. And I want to give like example because for this we can, we are going to input the short code. So for example, fr for French. FR for French. So you see we have the input, we have the 
break the to quit the while loop and then we have the input for the target language so now let's now call our function our function that does the translate in our while loop so we then have translation equals to this is our function translate text and then we have the user input which is our text and then the target language language target language and now I want to print out my results to print out the translated text. So let's go over it again. First, we installed the library and then we imported translator from this. And then we now have our function translate text that takes our user input and then the, the target language, the language we're planning to translate to. And then we have translator. In translator, we're setting the target language that we're translating it to lang. This is used in, this is stated in the library to translate to. So there's something we're using there. And then we then return translation, translator dot the translate of our text. So then there's now a while loop that we have the user input, you enter a word or phrase to translate or you enter Q to quit. And then if the user enters Q, it breaks. We have our target language, you enter your target language, short code, and then you run your function and then you print out the translation. So now if I run this, If we run this, we see an error, and that is because translator should be in capital letter. Yes, a translator. So let's run again. So you see, enter a word or phrase to translate. So I put, for example, good afternoon, everyone, and then I click on enter. So now I have to enter the target language that I want to translate to. So if I want to translate to German, so I want to translate to German, you can see German here is DE. And then I enter DE and I click on enter. So you see it is translated to German. But if I want to translate that to French, for example, I enter this and then French, French is FR, and then it's translated to French. What if I want to translate to Spanish, for example? Copy, and then enter. Spanish is, is ES, and here we have it in Spanish. So there we have it. This is a project for translating from English to other languages. So try it out. But there are also different ways to do it. You can use the Google Cloud or something, but I may choose to import from the translator library since we already have that. But try different methods and also try to translate from other languages to English and put it to your solution in the comment section. Thank you and bye for now.